Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be creating a road for our FPS game in Unity. So first off we need the actual road. I can use a plane for that, it's a, a very good way of doing it. You can use 7 and 5 on your numpad to go into top or to graphic view and then by pressing shift tab you can enable snap drawing transform and this is just going to allow us to make more uh, precise uh, scales, rotates and stuff like that. And now I'm just going to press S to scale and scale to about this much. Now in order to make this a road, we're going to use a bit of materials. So what I can do is go to the materials tab, create two new materials. Material one is going to be called the road and the material two is going to be called line. Now in edit mode, if I press tab and go into edit mode, I can add a few loop cuts with control R. So control R to add two loop cuts like this. You can change the number with the mouse wheel. And then I will press S and X to scale on the X axis like this and scale to around this much. I will add some more loop cuts on the sides. So just press control R and then put three vertices in with your mouse wheel. And this should work pretty well. Now I can press control tab and go into face select mode or just do it down here. And then I will right click on this face and right shift right click on this face. Select the line material and assign it. Now if you take a look, if I change the road material to a bit darker one, you can see that this will look like a road if we just, you know, duplicate it and place it here. It will make it look like a road. So that's pretty cool. Now I want to create the transition from the road to the sidewalk or kind of the curb. I'll go into front orthographic view with 1 and 5 on my numpad. Press Shift A and add a cube. Now press S, Z. This looks good. And now I'll just press G and Z to move it up and kind of make it flat right here. And then press Shift Control Alt C, origin to 3D cursor. Now I will but go back to front orthographic view and press S, X and scale it to around this much. And I think this is actually a bit too high, so I'll just scale it on the Z axis a bit more. This seems about right. If I just move it and duplicate it, you can see what I was trying to get here. And now we need the sidewalk. That will be pretty simple. I will add another cube and then scale it on the Z axis. But this one is going to be uh, smaller than the curb. Then move it up so it's flat, shift control alt c origin 3d cursor and this will work fine I will just move it right here and you can see that that works pretty well. I'll go back to the sidewalk and add a new material just call it sidewalk and go to the curb and add a new material call it curb. In unity we're just going to duplicate these and then you can do something like this and then have a really long road or a very short one. Now we're not done yet, we need to export this, so I will just move all these back to the center with the G and X. I will select all of them with uh, A and then press RX minus 90. Apply the location, rotation and scale with Control A. Press RX 90 uh, to bring them back and then rename them here. If I just left click, I can see that this is the curb. This is the road. And then this is the sidewalk. I will select just the curb for now. Go file export FBX and export this as curb FBX. Click selected objects down here. It's very important now. And then uh, check the scale here and export. I will select the sidewalk now. Go file, export FBX. Rename it to sidewalk FBX. Again, this should be already checked. Export and then lastly select the road, export FBX. Road FBX. And also I will go file, save as, and I will just save it as road. Blend, save as Blender file. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, Share this with your friends, um, maybe leave a like on the video and maybe subscribe. And also you can go follow me on my social media and my Patreon if you be that kind. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.